Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 73, NASDAQ off 122, S&P's off 27. Gold, gold contract up $2.80, trading at 1879 an ounce. You get silver uh, up 15 cents, 22 dollars, 25 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 90 cents, 74 dollars, 29 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note down 28 ticks, trading 113.17. The 30-year off full point at 129.02 in King Dollar. King dollar right now is trading up 694 ticks, 103.607. The euro is at 107. The yen's at 132.52. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. I'm going to bring the contract up first, E-mini contract, to see where we speculate this thing is coming into the close so es okay let's see what we get out here so you've been having it's a small consolidation all day long you get nothing at the highs i'll tell you that man <laughs> nope yeah so i could open this up a little bit more but it, yeah this thing was this thing wants to go to the lows again the low today is 4104. So it's going to be interesting watching this thing shake out. You can see, so picture this. The, the first high that we had at the open here, right, the futures hit the, the 4232. Then we went straight down, and that's where I think we're going to be going here, uh, to that uh, 4101. You went down there with uh, 46,000 contracts. You made the next high with 28,000 contracts, and then you made it with 19, with 22,000. Yeah. And right now, yeah, see you later, man. See, you don't want to be a, we just did 309. See the expansion of volume right now? You can see we're already at 21,000. It'll be the next tick, next bar that's coming down. That I suspect, you know, this thing will pick up a bit. NASDAQ, we go take a look at the NASDAQ. We'll do the same type of exercise inside the NASDAQ here. So NASDAQ, pull this back, same setup. Right now, you got, yeah, it's the same setup. Yeah, the, the, the low bar has uh, 14,500. Then the high bar has 9,000. The second high bar has 5,000. The bar that we just did is six. So you, you build some more cars to try to get down to that level. Gold, we go take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold right now is trading up $2.80. And what we had with gold out here, so we take a look at this. You know, bottom line is that uh, my take is we're coming back to the strength. Now, it's going to get intriguing because to see exactly, you know, what type of volume that we have as we go lower. Because the, what you have is that str the, the 0 .382 of the, the last move up is at 1848. Um, the 5.0 is 1810. So right now it looks to me that... That, that's, that's where we're going with this whole deal. That's where it looks like. Uh, and it's because of the fact that this is, you're going to be able to put this together so well, folks, because the correlations are so direct. You know, if we go over to the dollar, and if you just, just look at, it, it, I'd take the very highs to the lows. If you take a look at the dollar, what you have is that at the 0.382 is 106, 600. We're in a 106, 165. That's a long. That's not a long way from here. But my take is that even a dead cat bounce. That's where we're going to go. Now, if you haven't test driven the, the Tigers down yet, folks, please do it. It's a buck. It's a dollar. We only charge a dollar because that way we get no scams in there. Now, I want to show you something because if you're in the den this morning, this is what happened this morning. Now, I've explained this before, and this only happens two or three times a year, folks. Okay, but if you are a day trader and you're in the market, this is where the weighting structures 
are so crucial to understand inside, particularly inside the oil and gas gold market. And the reason for that is that in both cases, right, the miners and the oil and gas, Exxon and, and Chevron have a huge position in the oil and gas. Newmont and Barrick have a huge position in the GDX. Well, what was happening this morning, right, this is pre-market, this was insane, but I've seen it happen before, is that at 7 o'clock this morning, that's when things get real liquid, at 7 o'clock this morning, they were bidding up the GDX. They were paying 20%, well, uh, 37 cents higher than where it was. It was trading at 340, okay? Now, as that's trading at 340, you would have went over and you went to Newmont, and Newmont was trading down $3. Now, mathematically, that's impossible at the open. And the reason that it's impossible, folks, goes like this. It doesn't mean that, that it wouldn't happen because then the net asset value, they can go with the net asset value. But the point is, is this, is that those are the things that you can take advantage of before the open. And in this particular case, there was about 30 cents there that, you know, bottom line, no, some, there was a lot of people that weren't paying attention. That's the bottom line. Because inside the GDX, they, let's see, they were buying that. I think when I, I sold it, when I sold it at seven, there was only about 36,000 shares traded at that point. Okay, that was at seven o'clock this morning. Though. Now, what you could have done also is that you could have went in and bought the dust because that would work too. Um, the, the point is, is that, and this is where I'm going to go back to the GDX and show you, because the, the way you do this, right, you, you understand the weighting structure. And so if we put the weighting structure in here, what you're going to see is that Newmont was 12.5% of it. Barrick is 10.3. Now, what was happening, Newmont was down $3. Barrick was flat. So it's like, okay, you have 25% of the GDX that is not going to move. They're actually going to go lower, and they were bidding up the GDX. You get the point of it, okay? So if you want, you know, if you trade a lot, you get fast trades, that's that's a sweet trade. Because all you do, you're selling one, you're buying it right back as soon as it gets, you know, delta neutral, meaning that they, they come in back into whack. That's the, that's how it works, folks, okay? Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's down 64. NASDAQ's off 134. S&P's off 28. Come right back.